Yes. I'm Ridley. Uh, so uh, how, how did that go? I mean, you guys How'd that rehearsal striving go? striving for a certain level of excellence here? We're, stri <laughs> we're striving for a certain level of mediocrity. If we get there, we're, we're absolutely pleased. Did you get there um, right? Well, yes, yeah. we did. We, we were excellently mediocre. What happens if you start to get good? Just go back to playing? It's never going to happen. No? It's one of those things that, you know, one doesn't have to worry about. Well, what is it about, like, a rock and roll fantasy that never, it's so durable? You know, it's, well, for, I think for authors, it's so outside what we do. We sit in a little room in front of a little screen day after day after day, totally alone. And uh, for those of us that have some extra, extrovert in us, we get out here and we're able to kick some of that out. Yeah. It's really fun. You know, well, we have tons of fun. And that's good for you. Why, why do you think the audience likes it so much? Well, I, I hearken it to the, uh, do you remember in, you know, the sort of carnival era of your life as a young kid and you'd go to the backyard carnival and there'd be somebody over a tub of ice water sitting in a lawn chair and if you hit the target with the, with the tennis ball, the guy falls in the water. That's kind of what our band is, I think. People love to see us get up there and fall in the ice water. So, you know, we get up on stage and we open our mouths and we're in the ice water right off the bat and everybody loves that. But is, it, is it different at your age having a rock and roll fantasy than when you're 19? Well, I had it at 19 too, so it just, you know, I'm, I'm still taking things for this, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm stuck with this. No, I, I, it isn't so much fantasy as just having fun with friends. That, you know, I don't think any of us would do this. We, this was a one-night gig, and it's now 13 years old, that one-night gig. Um, but we had so much fun as friends. None of us had ever met, as incredible as that was to all of us. None of us had ever met, and uh, it's been so much fun in terms of friendship that we really get back together for the time we're not playing. We have a ton of fun playing, but it's all the bus rides and the planes and hanging out together that's the fun. And then that one-night you know. gig, I mean, how did that happen? Well, um, when, you, when you go on book tour, a media escort tours you around to make sure you get to places on time. And Kathy Goldmark, who's in the band, had over a course of many years realized she'd toured a bass player, a guitar player, a singer. And so she faxed us all and said, would you volunteer to fly yourself down to LA where there was a book festival? And I'll put a band together and we'll raise money for a good cause. So it was a one night deal. You know, we got a fax. She said, I don't know who will be in it. And, and from my perspective, I was up in Idaho, and, and uh, weeks went by, and I got a fax, and it said, here's who's in the band. And at that time, it was Stephen King, Amy Tan, Barbara Kingsolver, Dave Barry. And I about fell out of my chair, and I said, I'm the bass player. <laughs> you know, so it was just, uh, and, and as we walked off stage that night, Steve King looked over his shoulder, and he said, we ain't done here. And, and we weren't. We've been doing it 13 years now. So. Great. Well, thanks. Yeah. I hope yeah. we're talking more with you. Yeah.